Want to solve for scalars using matrices? Let's master the R of row echelon form and you'll see how easy it is. So the question arises, what is row echelon form? Well, row echelon form actually converts a matrix into a staircase form. You have leading ones in each row and zeros below it. We use it to solve for scalars x, y, z in case of three variable equations. So what a row echelon form will do to a matrix like this, it will convert it to this kind of a matrix where you have leading ones in each row and zeros below it. Suppose we start with three equations, x plus 2y plus z equals to 4, 2x plus y plus z equals to 5, and x plus y plus 2z equals to 5. If I write it down in an augmented form, this is what is your augmented matrix. Now, our task is to use row echelon form in order to find the value of x, y, z. We use row operations to get leading ones and zeros below them. Keep the leading one of the first row as it is and try to make zeros below it. R2 goes to R2 minus 2, R1 makes a zero here. R3 goes to R3 minus R1. In this process, this is the matrix that you will get. Now, the task is to create a leading one here and get zero below it. Now, in order to get a leading one here, R3 and swap it with R. Well, in the next step, you don't want a minus one here. So you will take minus one common or you can convert it to plus one minus minus here. You just have to create a zero here. R3 goes to R3 plus three times R2. And that will give you, and which means now in order to find out x, y, z, what you want to do is you will convert it to equation from once again, zero times x plus zero times y minus four times z is giving you minus six. So that means z is equal to three by two. The second equation you get y is equal to one by two. And from the first row, you will get that x is equal to three by two. And that's it. Roisin forms makes it super clear. It's very easy to find out scalars using this method.